this final segment of Community Focus, we welcome Sarah Kyle, the Executive Director of 211 Northeast Michigan, to inform us about a new pilot program. Sarah, what is the mission and the goal of 211 Northeast Michigan? Well, our, our really, our goal is to make sure that we are just a gateway. So uh, we want people to call us when they have a need, and then we're going to get them to the correct agency. Uh, we treat every single person with dignity, respect, offering confidentiality, um, really a listening ear for folks who are in need. So 211 is the phone number similar to a 911 or 411, but only those three digits are needed to call you. Right. We're written into Michigan public statute, so people can pick up the phone. And if they have a health and human service need, whether it mm -hmm. be food, clothing, shelter, all those kinds of things, they can dial three digits rather than getting confused with all the community programs. They pick up the phone, dial 211, and we're going to connect them to what's available in their community. So is 211 a local program, or does it cover a larger area than just mid-Michigan? It's mid exciting. Mid yeah, it, it started as a national, excuse me, it started in Atlanta, and then it's really spread all over the country. So it's in every county in Michigan as of the end of 2016, mm -hmm. and uh, so anyone can pick up the phone and dial. But it, it really, in Michigan, we have seven centers that cover all 83 counties. Uh, Northeast Michigan covers 23 counties, so we're a pretty uh, big area, and Midland really is kind of where we grew from. Mm -hmm. You started the program here a few years ago in Midland exactly, and then became 211? Yeah, it started as First Call for Help through our United Way and recognizing that although First Call for Help was extremely beneficial to the community, those three digits were really important. When mm -hmm. someone is in crisis, uh, when they don't have food in their cupboards, we don't want them trying to figure out where do I go. I don't even we want to make sure it's so easy for them to access services. So out of the first call for help, um, they became a 211 in 2009, and since then we've been spreading throughout the state of Michigan. Now on a day-to-day, case-by-case basis, how do you fulfill the mission, the goals of 211? So people can contact us in lots of ways. Most folks are going to pick up that phone and dial, mm -hmm. and we believe that's really the best service that we offer, but we've went out of our way to make sure that folks can get a hold of us um, by text, they can text 211, which is 898-211. All they have to do is send their zip code, and they have access to the same database that someone would call. They can chat with us online. If they go to our website, they can chat with mm -hmm. a specialist during the day. Uh, folks can also get online and search our database. So the full database that we use um, to find information that we keep up to date is available online. So really, we're fulfilling that mission in any way possible. If we can get the information to people, we are going to do it. Now, you mentioned some of the services, but specifically, what are some of the services that you can uh, refer clients to uh, organizations that, that can help them? Yep, so of all of Michigan, really, and certainly most of our 23 counties, uh, utilities are the number one request that we get. Folks who need help paying, their electric bill, folks who can't figure out how to make the water bill or need a deposit mm -hmm. for propane. Those are our number one call really in the state of Michigan. Here in Midland County, uh, we have seen a switch in the past few years. So we're seeing food is the number one need uh, in Midland County. Uh, so those are our top needs. We also have housing, folks who need mm -hmm. help finding affordable housing, uh, folks who might need help with rent, deposit assistance. So, you know, we take calls like that. We can also take calls for I have a question about, you know, my Medicaid. I have questions about transportation. That's a big one. Um, really, if it's a health and human service need, then we, we're going to do our best to, to look into your community, find the resource, and make the right referral. Now, you have a new pilot program. Uh, what is it and why is it different than the yeah. programs that you've had right along? So we're so excited. Uh, MyHopePortal.com is a brand new project. So our database really, in the nation, we're nationally certified. Our database is really meant for nonprofits, so nonprofit health and human service organizations. Well, the community of Midland, we're not alone here in Midland, but Midland looked at our, our, the entire community and said, we need better access to mental health resources. And they came to 211 and said, how do we do this? Because actually most mental health resources are not nonprofit. So we went to our state association and we went to my board of directors and asked, can we add some for-profit mental health resources mm -hmm. in our database so that we can start to curb that need. When someone has a need, all we had currently or, or we used to have is just the nonprofit, which is a great community. 
but we're missing a big piece of it. So the myhopeportal.com, uh, we, we have a website, but we also use our database so folks can, can call us and we can find those services for mental health resources um, in our database, even if they are for profit. And uh, with a 23 county area, there are probably some places that don't have a nonprofit provider for this. And so this gives the, the uh, caller the opportunity to find a local for-profit provider if, if they to choose to use it. Absolutely. And even some of our nonprofits here in Midland, they do a great service, but they have a very small amount of folks they can help. They have very specific guidelines. So this opens that up. So currently the pilot project is Midland County. Uh, we were you know, graciously funded by um, Dow Chemical and by our United Way to, mm -hmm. to do this project. Our hope is to take it from Midland County to every county we serve and really the entire state of Michigan is watching us to see how this works because we all recognize we need, we need more resources in our database. Now what's your message for any of our viewers that are looking for information or that uh, need help with human service problems? Pick up the phone and dial. I know it sounds simple. Even if you have a question about what we do, we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're confidential. Um, someone is going to pick up that phone. You're going to have to enter in your zip code because you know everything's computer based now. Um, but pick up the phone, dial 211 and ask those questions. Sarah, thank you for joining us and telling us about 211 Northeast Michigan and introducing us to your new program, Hope Portal.